everybody. Welcome to the same time roadmap session. My name is Guinea Saini. I'm the product management manager for same time, joining from Lexington, Kentucky. And also joining with me today is Barry Onan, also from Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky. He's our director for same time development, and he'll be here with me um, joining in this session as well. And um, I know there's going to be not much time here for Q&A. Um, just to remind folks, we do have same time coffee rooms available as well. We will be there after this session there too to answer any questions um, that you may have. So with that, let's get started. Um, disclaimer, obviously, this is a roadmap session. So anything you see or hear here is subject to change. Okay, so let's talk about what we did yesterday. So we did have our great launch for the new, brand new Same Time Premium release yesterday. I hope you guys were able to join that session as well, where we took you through, you know, what we have built, um, our very first um, ACL branded Same Time meetings and chat solution, right? Um, our focus, obviously, with that solution is it's, gotta be fast, right? It's gonna be simple and it's gonna be uh, wherever you want to deploy it, right? Whether it's on-prem, whether it's private cloud, um, you know, it's your choice. And that's what, um, you know, our focus has been for this release, same time premium release. Now, keeping all that in mind, um, we are here to talk about, you know, what's next after that release, right? We we build this team collaboration tool that is faster, modern, intuitive, easy to deploy, right, for, for our customers. Now, what's, what's our focus areas, right, after that um, for same time? What you see here, uh, you know, is, again, four main areas that we are putting our focus on. And, and our goal, by the way, here is not to just take you through right, what, what our priorities are, what we are focusing on, but also get your feedback, right? I mean, you as our great customers, business partners, um, you know, everything we are building, we want to make sure it, it fits your needs, you know, it is what you're expecting from a product, and, and help us build that next gen same time from, from here on. So um, let me just take talk through about, uh, you know, these four focus areas. We will go deep dive into this, and you'll um, see later on, you know, what are those components that are contributing towards these themes, right, that we are building. Um, so number one, let me just take one at, one at a time here, the end user experience, right? So what, what we focus on, the first and foremost, you know, no matter what we are building here, right, in terms of simpler install, simpler for admins, end user experience at the end of the day is what matters to, to our end users, to your end users. We, as we are building this more modern chat and meeting solution with same time premium, we are gonna put focus on, you know, making it richer, right? Whether it's chat enhancements, right? We've, I've seen, uh, you know, our AHA portal light up um, over the last few months where, you know, you have been asking for chat enhancements, right? Whether whether it's one-on-one -on -one chats, group chats, um, you know, all those um, details that we need to put into our chat experience. Um, obviously, meetings as well, right? Meetings is a big focus um, nowadays. And with the core features and functionality that we have built, right, voice, video, screen share, all those things that everybody uses these days from meetings, we, we do want to make sure, you know, we keep enhancing that meetings experience, right? I mean, it could be a meeting lobby, could be ACLs, you know, all those things that we've been hearing from our customers, our users. So that's what, what our focus is going to be when we talk about, you know, end user experience. It's chat, it's meetings, how do those, those, those two fit together, and where do we take those two beyond what's there today? Um, Barry, I don't, you want to add something to that? Um, I'm sure there's great comments from your side too on this um, first theme here. Sure, Guinea. I think I think you, you know, I think you nailed it. You know, obviously uh, this is a very important theme, and uh, it's one that matters a great deal to the end users. Um, and so I think I would just uh, reemphasize that you know we very much need our customers and partners to help us prioritize uh, the the long list of meetings and and chat features that will enrich that experience. And, um, 
you know, as we know, we've, you know, same time as, you know, same time meetings offering is a, is a baseline foundational um, delivery. Um, it's a tool that lets you get your job done. And, um, but, you know, there's, you know, countless options for adding new features and capabilities. So we, we need help prioritizing those. And I guess I would ask that we, you know, in addition to the feature requests, that we would um, also get some background on those requests. What, what particular problem um, are, are we trying to solve if we add a, a given feature? Um, and so that we can kind of identify themes and help us focus on, on adding capabilities. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if I can add to that too, Barry, I mean, you know, again, there is no shortage of, shortage of ideas, whether it's coming from our customers, partners, or even internal users, right? I get tons of feedback every day, even from internal use. We, we you know, all of us here use meetings every day, same time meetings, and there's just tons of ideas out there. And we do understand, right, it's every, every user, every organization, they have their own priority, right, their own needs. So it would really help us, you know, whether it's a new idea you're creating or just more than some existing idea, you know, what are the priorities for our customers um, out there? All right, so um, again, you know, end user experience is something we are gonna put a big focus on here, right, as we keep taking same time to that next, next level. Um, next up is integrations, you know, and this is something that is a huge focus for us um, now that our first release is out the door um, for meetings and chat. And, and this is, you know, just going back, um, this is something, you know, we have like obviously our great, awesome, you know, ecosystem of our partners who have been building, you know, their own portal, their own solutions, integrating, embedding same time parts and pieces into it, right? Um, for our same time nine and previous releases. Um, and I know our, you know, brand new release has, its, you know, obviously new APIs, new SDKs. Um, so our focus now becomes to deliver those, right? To publish those to you guys so you can start building your solutions, right? Your portal, your applications with those embedded APIs, SDKs in it. So that is definitely on top of our mind um, as that next step um, for the next year, you know, as we work, as we work towards those integrations. I, I do want to add um, other, other integrations too. You know, one thing that, again, is top of mind too is click money. Um, you know, obviously a lot of us don't even use that or need that right now, right, as we're working from homes. But, you know, as we've seen in this conference, Right, I mean, there are bandwidth issues. Sometimes people do have to pick up the phone and join that meeting, right? Um, we do have, obviously, dialogue capability. If you heard um, yesterday's session, if you've tried our pre-release, um, that is inbuilt in the product. But what we want to focus on is, you know, that full telephony um, experience, right? Where you can dial in, you can punch in a meeting passcode, and you can join that meeting via phone. And, and we are working with some key partners on that. Um, you know, in all transparency, and we will be announcing something soon um, in, in the near future here, you know, all those partners that we will be working with to get you that full-fledged telephony experience inbuilt with meetings. Um, other thing, you know, obviously here is our own product portfolio, whether it's worse, it's connections. We want to focus on, you know, putting that new same-time experience back in those products. Um, you know, whether it's DX even going further, um, I know Barry and I have been talking to teams like, you know, HCL Commerce, for example, is a, another business unit for us. And those guys came to us asking for, you know, embedding same time chat in their products. So this is, again, our big focus when we, you know, build the products um, that is embeddable, that is easily integratable in, in your solutions that you want to add. Um, you know, Outlook integration is definitely another one that you're going to see next year a same time meetings plugin for Outlook. So that is definitely coming as well, you know, where it'll be a single click if somebody's using Outlook client and you can embed that same time meeting URL in the client and send it to in your calendar invites. So those will be coming um, obviously in the very near future. Um, Barry, feel free to add anything here as well. I think you covered it, Guinea. I think anybody that knows same time knows that, uh, you know, SDKs and, and custom application development has always been a strong focus for us and we're, and we're going to renew it. Um, you know, we've, we've had to kind of set it you know, a little bit aside as we've made the transition and, and worked on the new offering, but it, it, it's going to be uh, important again soon. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. So we are bringing all this integratable, the embeddable experience, uh, you know, back with the new same time experience. Okay, so cloud native is next. Um, now, cloud native is a big focus in, in you know, I've, I've talked to a, some of you at least, right, where we've been challenged, right, by cloud native and this is an on-prem product. And just to clarify some things here, right, cloud native doesn't mean you can install on-prem. You absolutely can. You know, this is something, um, you know, that we cater towards our on-prem community. The, the, the goal here is, right, whatever we're building, is cloud native should you choose to do so in your private cloud, right, or it's hybrid? I mean, we're seeing a lot of focus being shifted to um, sort of like a private cloud mode, right, especially when everybody needs the meetings, the collaborative solutions these days. Um, and if, you know, you really want the hosted solution, that's where our cloud hosting partners come in. And if we build cloud native products, that's what helps them offer as um, a, a choice on their platform, right? So cloud native does become a big focus for us. You, if most of you might have heard about Project Sophie, I think Richard has mentioned that in some of his talks. It's our solution factory platform, which is, um, essentially is something that you can use once you sign up, um, right? Once it's available to you, and ACL can host, you know, that meetings and chat platform for you. Um, on our um, instances, right? You, you get your private instance, but we are hosting it for you. You just click a button and it deploys everything for you for you to use, right? Whether you want a POC environment or eventually want to make it into a production environment, it'll be your private cloud instance hosted by us um, with a click of a button, right? And I have something in the next slide there as well. Barry, I don't know if you have some other comments here to add. Only that we have a good start here with our new meetings offering, and you know we'll be working hard to enable our chat services to take full advantage of the cloud native capabilities. Right, absolutely. Um, I know we're gonna run out of time. So digital office here, you know, that's an, another big focus for us, right? And that's what I want to show you with the next slide. You, you've heard, you know, you've been to sessions where um, Andrew and Renee have taken you through uh, about Project Yuzu. You know, that is um, something that we are working on. It, it is a concept and we are running it by you guys, right? Um, give us your feedback. And what the plan or the goal there is, you know, same time roadmap is, you know, what, where we want to take same time to next level, right? However, what, whatever we are building in same time, that kind of contributes towards Project Yuzu. Um, with that, let me take you to the next slide. Um, and again, some of you may have seen this slide before. I do want to clarify here a couple of things. One is, you know, you see at the bottom, same time roadmap, right? We released our brand new meetings and chat yesterday. Now, at the top, you see our focus areas for the same time roadmap, right? We are not stopping same time to be, um, you know, progressing from what's what's there next for our same time customers. What you see here next is, you know, in a, in a sort of timeline approach, right? We got a, SDK update that's coming. You know, we want to make it cloud native, and you're going to have Project Sophie, where you will be able to host, get your own instance of same time meetings and chat, and telephony, telephony with key partner integrations, right? Um, that is something you'll see from same time roadmap perspective. And other than that, you know, obviously chat, the, that end user experience, right? Chat enhancements, lecture mode meetings. You know, one of the things um, we do here a lot is, you know, even though we are providing broad, you know, broadcast capability, you can have 30 to 40 people in a meeting, but still there is that need of, you know, large meeting support, right? Maybe there are hundred users you want in that same time meeting itself. And when that comes in, you know, then it kind of becomes a lecture style. So you'll see us kind of working on that large meeting support here, right? Maybe it includes a meeting lobby that you get people into, right, as they try to join. Integrations, we talked about, right, worst connections, Outlook, that's coming next for same time. And later on, you know, obviously, external user access. I've heard quite a bit about that, too, during this conference. That is on our mind, top of mind, too, the authenticated guest access. You know, all the other group chat conversations, the enhancements around there we need to do, certifications, you know, mobile car play, um, all that stuff you will see coming with the same time roadmap. Now, what you see at the bottom is, you know, what Project Yuzu would be, right? So, you know, think of, I'd like to think of it as same time is going to be that heart and soul of Project Yuzu. So, Project Yuzu, you know, again, you heard this a lot more yesterday from Andrew and Renee. It's it's that collaborative 
work management um, environment, right? Where you have everything you need for that one project. I mean, how, we, a lot of us work on multiple projects, right? Where whether we are in Jira or any other app we are working on, and then we need to meet, we are going to our email, we're trying to get to our meeting, everything stays in one place, right? With that project user concept. But guess what? Same time is the heart and soul of that, right? Where you have meetings, you have chat, and all that stuff we are bringing together as one integrated experience is uh, what it becomes. Um, so same time roadmap goes on, um, project Yuzu, you know, what, what we do there, everything you see on same time roadmap will be contributing towards project Yuzu. Um, and, and you see obviously our focus areas for Yuzu down below as well. Very, um, feel free to add something here. Well, I know we're up on time, so again, just a reminder that we're going to be, you know, moving over to the same time coffee rooms where we can answer questions and expand on all this. So we want to make sure we get that in before this session ends. And and, and on the digital office, Guinea, I'll just add, you know, like you said, we're going to continue to enhance same time capabilities. But uh, you know, myself and the development team, we're all really excited about, you know, participating in this next phase of the evolution in our collaboration capabilities and you know, helping to build the digital office experience that. Uh, you know, people want to have, you know, project-based and, you know, outcome-based, uh, you know, capabilities. Absolutely. So, uh, I know we're out of time here, too, but please feel free um, to add any ideas, any and every idea you have, you know, anything that you add definitely helps us prioritize, right, what's next we are going to build. Again, you know, it's all great ideas. Please feel free to award on anything that's out there. And as Barry was saying, right, it helps us if you write a user story around it. Maybe maybe it's something we already provide you in a different fashion, right? So it definitely helps us if you write something specific that you need, right, or why you need that um, feature or functionality. Um, so again, you know, we will be in the same time coffee room right now after this. So please please feel free to join us there and let's do any Q and A over there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming.